glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, prayer warriors. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. How you doing today, warriors? On this beautiful Tuesday, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You ought to go ahead and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Give God some praise on today. Hallelujah. Give God the highest praise. The highest praise is hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we magnify your name on today. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I thank you on today because you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise and all the honor for it belongs to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I worship you on today, Lord. I shall back you, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. I give you the glory, the honor, the praise. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I just want to get radical for you today. I just want to thank and praise you on today. Oh, hallelujah. I have a hallelujah in my belly, in my soul, Lord. I'm just so grateful to you. Oh, I don't have all the fancy words, Lord, but I do have a hallelujah. I have a glory. Mm. I have a thank you on today. I have a you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. You are a way maker. You are our shield. You are a protector. You are a caregiver. You are a mother. You are a father. You are a sister. You are a brother. You are our everything. You are creator. Jesus. You are the creator of the universe. You are all powerful. All knowing. You are the I am. You are our reason for living. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You are a way maker. Hallelujah. You are somebody that we can put our trust in. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you will never turn your back on us. But a lot of people don't ask you to come into their space. A lot of people don't ask you to come into their hearts, into their situation. They try to handle the situation on their own. Hallelujah. But Lord, I need you to fight every battle. I need you to take control of every situation. I need you to take control of my very being. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need you to abide in me. I need you to dwell in me. I need you to live in me. Because without you, I can't move. I have my being. I need you to surround me. I need you to protect me and my family. I need you to protect my husband on his job. On the road, hallelujah. As he travel up and down the highways and the byways, wherever he go, I need you to shield him. I need you to protect him, Lord God, from all hurt, harm, and danger, from all seen and unseen danger. Hallelujah. I need you to protect him, Lord God, for the fiery darts of the enemy that he is sending out. Hallelujah. Towards your people, your children. Hallelujah. I need you to put a shield of protection around him. I need you to dispatch your angels all around him, Lord God. I need a host of an army of angels in the name of Jesus. Why? Because your name packs power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power and you calling on the name of Jesus. 
Oh, hallelujah. It's in the name. Hallelujah. It's in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's in your name, Lord God. I need you to wrap your arms around me. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need you to lift me up when I'm feeling low. Hallelujah. Because you are the lifter of my soul. Hallelujah. You are the joy of my soul. Hallelujah. You are the Holy Spirit to my soul. You are the yin to my yang. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And I just come to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Because he is the I am. Hallelujah. He is the creator. Hallelujah. But he is so intelligent. Hallelujah. He don't just bombard his way into your life. He wants you to invite him in. Hallelujah. I invite you in, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I invite you into my space. I invite you into my home. I invite you to dwell in me. I invite you to dwell in my marriage. Hallelujah. In my home, in my finances, in my joy, in my peace. Hallelujah. I need you to make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. I need you to be my provider. Hallelujah. I need you to be my protector. I need you to supply my every need. No matter what the need is, Lord, I need you to supply my every single need. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I know you know my needs, but Lord, Father God, I still ask you to supply my every need. To meet every need, every single need, Lord God. I, Lord, Father God, I need you to give me the desires of my heart. I need you to open it up, to open up doors that no man can close. Hallelujah. I need you to go before me. Hallelujah. I need you to protect me on the highways. I need you to protect me when I lay down at night. I need you to come in my atmosphere. I need you to come in my neighborhood. I need you to come in my city. I need you to go into the nations. I need you to go into the highways and the byways and the four corners of the earth. Hallelujah, Lord God. Somebody needs you, Lord God. Somebody is calling on you. Lord God, I need you to go into the hospitals. I need you to go into the jailhouse. I need you to go into that broken marriage. I need you to go to that teenager that needs your help. I need you to go to the babies. I need you to go to the toddlers. I need you to go into the schools. I need you to come, come into our home. I need you to invade. I need you to invade the the earth realm with your presence. I need you to, to invade the earth realm, Lord Father God, with that Holy Ghost fire, invade neighborhoods, invade spaces and places, invade nations, invade countries and regions and the four corners of your earth, invade the deepest, darkest places. I need you to invade on that murdering spirit, that psychotic spirit, that schizophrenia spirit, that suicidal spirit, that lusting spirit, that demonic spirit, that pornographer spirit spirit, that spirit that's going out and getting in people's dreams and getting into their spaces and spaces and going on that job. Lord, I need you to invade. I need your Holy Spirit to take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we need you. We need you, Jesus. We need you in our spaces and in our places. We need you in our faces. We need you in the earth, ma'am. Lord, Father God, I need you, hallelujah, to make my ground a holy ground. Our children need you. The teenagers need you. The mothers, the fathers, hallelujah. They need you on their jobs, their homes, their marriages, hallelujah. They got people that want to that's going out picking up guns. The enemies are sending out murdering spirit. Lord, I need you to take that murdering spirit, Lord, Father God, of that person that's not so meant to be a murderer, Lord God, a rapist, Lord God. 
that angry spirit, that frustrating spirit. I need you to invade in their space. I'm calling out, Lord God. I'm petitioning you on their behalf to pull that angry spirit out, to pull that frustration spirit out, Lord. Father God, they need you. They feel void, hallelujah. That void that you are feeling, it belongs to God. Only God can feel that space, hallelujah. Feel that void that's in your life, hallelujah, Jesus. Ask God to come in, hallelujah, where you need him at, hallelujah. If you need him on your job, if you need him in your marriage, hallelujah. If you're frustrated, hallelujah, in any part of your life, it's so many different scenarios. Hallelujah. You've been hurt in your childhood. That molestation spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody been molested, Lord. They don't know how to move on. They don't know how to forgive. They are hurting, Lord God. Deliver them, Lord God. Set them free from the hurt and the pain and the agony. That torturing spirit that come to torture their mind. We pull it down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Pull it down. Lord Father God, pull down the strongholds that's in their mind. Oh, that hurt of a loss of a loved one. Some people love ones that went home. They may have committed suicide. I'm saying this, but people have lost their loved ones to suicide. They have lost their loved ones to sickness. They have lost their loved one to a murderous demon. Hallelujah. To a rapist, a, a spouse, a, a, a loved one. Somebody may have just took their life for whatever reason. Somebody lost their child to kidnapping. Somebody lost their child. They don't even know where their child is. They haven't heard anything. And they are hurting, Lord God, and they need you, not that they want to forget because you're going to always have that memory, but they're in so much agony, so much turmoil, Lord God, and they need you to pick them up. God can pick you up. God can turn that situation around, invite him in. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Hallelujah. Be encouraged on today because some things that can come, it can knock you off of your feet. Because we're living in a world. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's so many things are going on in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the darkest, deepest places, in the higher up spaces, Lord Father God, and we need you. We need you to keep us. We need you to keep our mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for a certain word. Oh, hallelujah. Bring it to my memory, Lord God. In higher places, spiritual weakness is in high places. Only you can reach that spiritual wickedness that's in high places, Lord God. That's going about in the noonday. Oh, Lord God, we need you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, Father God, we just worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Kenny. Kenny, somebody named Kenny. Somebody named Kenny. Handararabosi. Yandararasi. Yiriribokosi. Handararabokosi. Yiriribosi. Who is Kenny? Whoever Kenny is, God is calling your name out. Handararabosi. Yiriribokosi. Handararabokosi. Go and talk to the king. Hallelujah. The king of king about your situation. He is waiting on you. He is waiting on you, Kenny. 
He is waiting on you, Kenny. Come and talk to the king. He is waiting on you. Go and talk to the king. Hallelujah. The king of kings in the name of Jesus about your situation. Hallelujah. He is waiting on you. Somebody named Deborah. The situation. God is waiting on you, Deborah. Go and talk to the king. He is waiting on you, Deborah. Stephanie, he is waiting on you. Taylor, he is waiting on you. Michael, he is waiting on you. He is waiting on you to come and talk to him. Elizabeth, he is waiting on you to come and talk to him. Talk to the king, get in his presence. He is waiting on you, young Daraha. Get filled with the presence of God, with the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues, hallelujah. So you can have a conversation with God. Huh? When you get filled with the Holy Spirit and you begin to go behind the veil, hallelujah. The enemy can't go get into that holy place. He can't go behind the veil in the name of Jesus Christ. When you get into that holy place huh? and you go behind the veil, huh? you get in the presence of God, hallelujah. And it's a conversation between you and the Father. It's between you and God. The enemy is not allowed in that holy place. He is not allowed behind the veil. He is not allowed in that space. It's between you and God. Get filled with the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. So you can conversate with the Father. So you can get into that holy place. <laughs> Cedric, he is waiting on you. <laughs> he is waiting on you. Get into that space. Get into that holy place. <coughs> He is waiting on you, Cedric. Get into that holy place, hallelujah. Where it's just you and God, hallelujah. Where you in, where it's just you and God. The enemy is not allowed into that space. Cedric, he is waiting on you, ha. Huh? Get filled with the Holy Spirit, people of God. Oh, be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. You have to ask God to fill you. You have to ask God to come into your space. You have to worship him. You have to serve him. You have to put no other God before him. People thinking it's a virus like COVID-19 that's coming. It's a virus that's coming, but it's a virus that you can't see. It's a virus that's coming into your dreams. It's a virus that's trying to take over your mind. It's a virus that's trying to make people go out and commit murder and so we'll have suicidal thoughts. It's a it's a it's a it's a virus that's come coming to make you do all kind of weird things to try to twist your mind to do things that's not like God. You can't see it. 
the enemy is sending out a viral virus. And it's entering in, entering in through a lot of dreams. It's witchcraft. It's sorcerers. It's warlocks. And it, it, it's gone out and it's, it, they didn't send it out in the atmosphere. And you can't see it. And it's getting in people's dreams. And it's using other people to try to, to turn you around. It's, 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 it's dealing with lust and spirits and chaotic spirits and, and, and people picking up guns and, and, and suicidal thoughts and different thoughts that's not like God. And it's trying to, into, into, it's trying to interact with you through your dreams. And what God showed me is a man and a woman. Witches and warlocks. They are gone viral because of the things that's taking place. And the enemy wants you to turn your back on God. And he wants you to turn your back on church. But God said he built the church. And he still have a remnant. He still have his chosen people. Jesus. Oh. The virus is not like you think it's going to be. It's a virus, but it's entering in through your dreams. On your jobs, in the schools. Oh, hey, oh, we, Jesus. Ah, da 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 bo see, and da 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 bo ko see. You have to get in God. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus. It's, a, it's spiritual wickedness in high places that's taking place. And it's viral. And you can't see it. You cannot see it. You have to get in his presence. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, you have to get in his presence. So he can shield and protect your mind. Pray over your home and pray over your cause and pray over your job. Tell God to fill you with his Holy Spirit so you can have the mark of God on your forehead. Not the mark of the beast. He is sending it out. He is sending that spirit out. Spiritual wickedness in high places. They sending out witchcraft spirits. They sending out warlocks. And they sending it out in a spiritual way. And it's going to go viral. Like a virus. Like COVID-19. But it's a spirit. That's, it's a seducing spirit. Ooh. See. It's a seducing spirit. And it's going to fool the very elect. And it's after God's chosen ones. It's trying to seduce you. Huh? But don't let it seduce you. Get in God's presence. And whatever scripture God tell you to read, read it. Don't play around with it. If you dream about something that's not like God, get up and call on the name of Jesus. And ask God what scriptures to read. Psalms 91, Psalms 27, Psalms 23. Tell God to show you, and there's going to be a lot of the scriptures that he's going to give you to read. It's going to be in Psalms. Because Psalms have scriptures in there that's, that's, that's prayer for you can pray the scripture. You don't have to try to use your own words, but you call on the name of Jesus. And every demon, every witch, every warlock, every seducing spirit, every spirit that's trying to entice you, every spirit that's trying to seduce you. When you begin to call on the name of Jesus Christ, it's going to flee. 
But you got to get filled with his spirit. You got to read his word because it's going out. It's not going to be like people think. And it, it, it's making people do all kind of weird things. I said this once before back in May. If you go back and look at the prophetic release in May that God released, he was saying that how the spirits was going out and it was going to begin to just have people doing all kind of weird things in their homes, in their marriages. But if the people don't know what it is, it's going to it's gonna mess with their mind, their, 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 their marriages. You know, people think it's, the, it's you know, he tried to fool you. Fool people thinking about oh, it's in the um, it's in the finances, or you're gonna have a a, a shortage on something. He have you running out getting this and running out and getting that. But what you need to be running to, you need to be running to get filled with God's Holy Spirit. That is gonna be the only thing that's gonna protect you is God's Spirit. The Holy Spirit, because I don't care how much food you run out and get, it has an expiration date. But the Holy Spirit will never run out. The Holy Spirit does not have an expiration date. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You need to get up under the blood of protection. Han da da it's a viral virus like the COVID-19, but it's spirits, it's witches, it's warlocks, it's seducing spirit. It's going to have people lying and trying to seduce people and try to scam people and making you think you this and you that. You got to watch it because it's spiritual and it's trying to entangle people. They got people that sleeping with pastors in their churches. And it's a seducing spirit. That spirit comes to seduce you. If you are sleep, if you are a woman of God, and you are in a church, and you sleeping with the pastor, or somebody in a church that's a leader, they are seducing you. And you need to give them up under that spirit. You need to get up out of there, and you need to get out of there quick. Because that is not like God, and they are trying to destroy your soul. Some people are being brought out into an open shame. But some people, nobody don't know that you're sleeping with that pastor. Nobody that don't know that you're sleeping with the people that's in the church that's in leadership. And if you are sleeping with a leader that's in leadership, whoa, it's destruction. I don't care who you are and where you live. If that is something that you are doing, you are in danger. And God is giving you a chance to come out. God is giving you a chance to get your life together and give them up under that. Because that is a spirit of seduction. And it can only lead you to one place, but it's your choice. God said if you get out and repent, he is going to forgive you. But if you stay in there and you continue to do those things that's not like a woe is destruction. Because God is not pleased with that. You got to come up out of seduction. You got to come up out of that spirit of manipulation. You got to come up out of it. God loves us, but he hates the sin. God loves us, but he hates the sin because it stinks in his nostrils. If you are caught up in the church and you are sleeping with the pastor and then you skinning and grinning in that lady face, whoever you is, you better come out because God said this is a warning. He going to forgive you, but you got to come out. Because that is a seducing spirit. They have manipulated you into doing that. And it's not like God. Whoa. 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 And you need to come out. God is not done. 
And there's so many things that the witches and the warlocks are sending out. Seducing spirits. Spirits to make you turn on God. Spirits to make you turn on each other. And it's not like God. We got to see God like never before. Because those spirits are going out. Just like they had a lady. And the young girl was only 22 years old. She shot her sister. And she shot her dad. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it occurred. But that was a, a spirit that was sent out for her to do that. That's the type of spirits he is sending out. He's sending it in dreams. He's sending it out in people's minds. He's having them to turn on each other. Because he know his time is near. And he's trying to take every soul he can with him. Why? Because misery love company. He turned on God and he want us to turn our back on God. And he will fool the very elect if he can. And I called out some names. God called them out. God said, come to him about your situation. Whatever the situation is, come to him in the name of Jesus Christ. He is waiting on you. It's about the kingdom. It's about giving God glory. It's about giving his presence for what is to come. See, people looking at for with the natural eye, but it's spiritual. It's something that you cannot see. Just like the COVID-19, you couldn't see that spirit. It was just going from person to person and just taking people out. But this time, the, 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 the virus that is going viral is a spiritual virus. It's a seducing virus. It's a, it's a witchcraft virus. It's a warlock virus. Witches and warlocks. Python spirits, Leviathan spirits. They trying to wrap themselves around you in, they, in your dreams. Especially in dreams. Because see, when you lay down and you sleep at night, that's how he try to come into your dreams and try to seduce you. Or he try to put stuff in your mind. And you know, if you the enemy puts something on your mind and you feeling some type of way, that's where it starts that in your mind. And it get in your heart. And then they try to make you go out and do it. Rob somebody, kill somebody, rape somebody, kill your family members, divorces, killings in school, people turning on each other. That's the type of spirit that is sending out because his time is near. But God said it's not going to be yet because it's still stuff to come. But guess what? Nobody know the day or the hour that God is going to come back for his children, not even Jesus. Only the Father knows, and that's in Revelation. God is the only one know, but he get ready to come back for the catching away. And we have to be ready, not get ready at the last minute, but you want to be ready for what's to come and what the enemy is sending out. And he using people because the enemy need bodies to you. He not, he's not like God. He can't be omnipresent. So he used people. And he is using witches and warlocks. And he is sending it out. Get in God. Get in his presence. Jesus. Come back to your first love. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And pray. You might say, I don't know how to pray. Pray that word. I don't care if it's the same scripture. Pray the word. 
Psalms 91. And if you need a scripture for repentance, read Psalms 51. And just look up repentance scriptures. If you pull it up on your Google, whatever you need, look it up. Because God is getting ready to bless his children. And you don't want to miss out on your spiritual inheritance. Because if you get caught up in foolishness, you're going to miss out on your spiritual inheritance. And Lord, Father God, I come before you today. God has allowed me to pray this. He just told me to pray and release. Lord, Father God, I pray and I release financial stability over your people. If you need God to help you come out of whatever, get in God's presence. And he is going to bring you out. He's going to show you how to do it. And it looks different for everybody. Lord, Father God, pay their bills. Lord, Father God, give them the finances to open up their business. Lord, Father God, bless them with the finances, Lord, Father God, to get that home that they need. Give them the finances to fix up their home. Somebody may need a car, Lord, Father God, bless them and release the finances for them to get a car, Lord, Father God, to need, they need to get to work. They need to get around. They need to get here. They need to get there. And they are in need of a vehicle. They are in need of a roof over their heads. They want to buy them a home. They never had a home before. And I release the prophetic anointing over your life. So when you step out and you need to go get your home, your car, pay your bills, you need food on the table, you need a job, you praying over your marriage, your children, um, whatever it may be. It's so many different things. People have different needs, desires of your heart. Somebody want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Somebody want to know how to read that word. Somebody looking for the uh, the mantles to drop on their life. God is releasing it. The prophetic mantles. The prophetic fivefold ministry. Finances are being released. Blessings are being released. Only if you are in the presence of God and you have been seeking, you have been being obedient unto his word. Somebody want to get delivered, Lord, Father God, from smoking cigarettes. I release that prophetic anointing that you are delivered right now. God is going to take the taste of smoking cigarettes. He's going to take the taste of smoking weed. He's going to take the taste of of alcohol so you can be on alert of what's going on in your surroundings. Deliver right now, Lord God. <laughs> We break that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. God is taking a taste of cigarettes. And when he delivers you, don't go back and pick it up. Yeah. 
He is breaking it right now in the name of Jesus. And don't go back and pick it up. He's breaking it off of your life right now in the name of Jesus. He's taking a taste of cigarettes, alcohol, marijuana. He's delivering you right now. Hey, break, 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 right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, under the double sea, under the double sea, under the dusty, under the double sea. Ah, under the dusty, under the double sea. Hey, under the double sea, ha, yeah, that out of war with your hands. Ah, the little God is breaking it right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, under that I see he's taking hey under he's snatching that taste out of your mouth. And when he snatch it out, don't go back. Break right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you need, God, to break off your life. Under the boss, yeah. Under the little and lust and spirit, fornication. Under the boss, yeah. Soul ties. He's breaking it right now in the spirit realm. Tell God what you need Him to break. Under the boss, and He's going to break it off of your life. He's going to bring you out. Ooh, ha, da 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 bo si, yon da 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 bo si, ha. Don't go, ooh, ha, da 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 si, yon da 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 bo si. Ooh, ha, da da si, eh, yon da da da, eh, Jesus. That breaker's anointing, ha. Generational curses, soul ties, ha. Ha, eh, yon da 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 bo, everything that's been held up, ha, da 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 bo si. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Da 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 bo si. Hey, Lord, let your spirit come to earth. Let your heaven come to earth in the name of Jesus. Break it, Lord God. Break those strongholds. Huh? Da 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 bo si. Ha. Mmm. Ah. Yan da da si. Hey. Yan da 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 bo si. Ha. Mmm. That breaker's anointing. Huh? Da 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 bo si. Ha. The breakers anointing. Han da 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 bo si ha. Ooh, han da 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 bo si. The breakers anointing. Han da 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 bo si ha. The breakers anointing. Han da 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 bo si. Yeah, yan da 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 bo ko si. The breakers anointing. Han da 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 bo si ha. The breakers anointing. Han da e break it, Lord God. Eh, yan da 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 bo si. What well, was holding you back? Han da da bo ko si. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. Han e yan da da bo ko. Every witchcraft spirit, Lord, don't leave no dust behind. Don't leave no residue. They don't let it be no retaliation. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We break it right every sickness and disease. Huh? Oh, we break it right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, God is passing out blessings and healings. Oh, that spiritual inheritance. Ah, 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 mantles. Eh, yandarabo. See, yandarabo kosi. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, ha, yandarabo. See, yandarabo. See, yandarabo. See. Mm, yeah, yandarabo. See, yandarabo. See, yeah, yo, yeah, Jesus. Mm, hey. That breakers anointing. Ah, da 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 bo si, da 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 si, eh, da 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 bo si ha, eh, every every word curse, 
every prayer that's being prayed up against your peace people we reverse it lord god and we send it back to the abyss back to the pits of hell every generational curse every stronghold every soul tie Honda, everything that's being held up, Lord, Father God, release it in the spiritual realm. Oh, everything that's being held up that you got for your people, Lord God, release it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for the releasing of the blessings. Thank you for the release of the overflow. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, mm. hey, thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord God. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If nobody else don't show up for you, you show up for you. Show up in his presence. Show up in his presence. Oh. Alcohol ain't going to do it. Serious ain't going to do it. A man ain't going to do it. A husband ain't going to do it. A wife ain't going to do it. Nobody but God can do it. Nobody but God. Nobody but 
ってこと<笑>どうもやるか Show moment. Jesus. Jesus, I need you. Lord, I worship you. I praise you. Lord, I adore you. I lift you up. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I give you the glory. Lord, you're worthy, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Lord Jesus, you are worthy of double honor. And all these prayers, I pray, I pray it in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Mary's baby, the one who hung, bled, and died for us. It's in his name. It's in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Don't let it be no retaliation, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, don't let it be no backlash. Don't let it be no transferring of spirits, Lord God. Oh, I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ and let it go before you as a sweet memorial, Jesus. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Ooh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The virus is going out. Cover yourself with the blood, but you cannot see it in its spiritual weakness in high places. Witches and warlocks are on the loose. A portal has been opened. In the earth realm. And it is on the loose. Cover your families with the blood. 
If you need to repent, repent. Read Psalms 51. And tell God to create in you a clean heart and to renew a right spirit on the inside of you and to forgive you and to deliver you. And if you are sleeping with that man, the pastors, the leaders in that church, you are opening up doors that's going to fall on your, on your lineage. But you have time to close the door. You need to repent and get up out of that. And get from around that person because it is manipulation. And it is a tormenting spirit that is going to torment you for the rest of your life if you don't get up out of it. Because you are opening up a door that should not be open. You should not be sleeping with the men and the women of God in God's house. That is an abomination. And God hates the sin, but he loved the person. Get right and get out of that and repent and give your life to God. That is a spirit of seduction that has gone out. And that is one of the things that he is using, the spirit of seduction. But if you get up on that umbrella of protection, God is going to bring you out. And he is going to break it with the breaker's anointing. And do not return. Because when you to return to something, it's like returning to a dog, to his own, a hot dog return to his own vomit. And that sounds so nasty and disgusting. And that's what it is. It is very nasty and disgusting. Do not return to it. All right, I'm going to go ahead on and get off of here. Pray, people of God.